How are you going today? Uh, it's Sunday, 19th of April, uh, just after half past seven. So I have, Sunday, I have um, had dinner and taken both for a walk. So time to chillax a bit. Um, <laughs> just a small bag of 310. As you can tell, I've been, I do checkerboard. I love doing checkerboard. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. So today, got some uh, more comments. Um, I will have to, hang on, I will pull it up first. Um, Tassie Devil just had a passing thought. Wondered how the DP pieces turned out you were doing with resin. Um, some of them are quite good. <laughs> Um, but I haven't gone much further. I struggle with magnets. I've managed to find magnets now, um, but haven't gone much further. So yeah, that's um, where I'm at there. Um, otherwise, basically, I've had comments from people saying how much they like the the resin and also the desk. Uh, Rachel Ray's wished a happy birthday, a belated birthday to me and to you, Cathy. Um, <laughs> Rachel's internet has decided to give her trouble this morning so she can only comment <laughs> uh, um, so just uh, today is obviously my last day off back to work tomorrow um, it's only two days, two nights and uh, then I'm back on five days off funny how when you have long periods of time off where your roster days are long everything's about those days off you know I will be doing yeah you know my usual 12 and a half hour shifts but the concentration is on the other end of finishing those um uh, Nathan's been busy <laughs> oh boy has he been busy um I will share with you some pictures that I took. Uh, I've got a picture of, um, I will actually pull it up so I can tell you what, what you're looking at. One is the side, so he's put wooden slats up. He's put a metal pole up, wooden slats up. And you can see the screen door. I've now got plants hanging on it, so that's not on the picture. But um, yeah, another, there was his day job today, because he wasn't at work. Funny today, it's actually his normal day off, but he's starting to find things to do. I don't have wind of his next project, <laughs> ah, but uh, that'll be next weekend, maybe, maybe not. Hopefully, he's working this weekend so I can get weekend in peace. Mine, he does do a good job, he does do a good job. So yeah, so that was also, you saw the screen door was a security door that he installed only a few days before that. Um, yeah, we had a little bit of fun here in the house this afternoon. When um, he was using all his power tools in the garage, he unplugged the, now if you understand, you understand, if you don't, it'll go straight over your head. He unplugged the D-Link which is for the network, so that we're all hardwired to the network. We have network plugs all through the house. So that, you know, plug into the network and you're direct, it's not wireless, so it's a lot faster. Well, he unplugged it. And then when he finished, we finished with the, um, doing that side work, the work on that, the, the timber and stuff, uh, I went to, I did I do? I went to, came into, into here and had a look, saw on my computer that it was no internet connection. So I was like, okay, well, I'll sort that out. So I turned, off and on, I turned the modem and all of that and still had no, no, no luck. So yeah, so ended up uh, identifying that there was no power going through one of the cables, uh, which is the main one. Nathan had actually unplugged this D-Link from the power source so it stopped working. 
and somehow in the process of unplugging he's actually damaged the cord so it was a case of uh, looked like there was going to be no network um, the Wi-Fi worked but no a network cable um, which on my old computer is no issue but on this computer I don't have wireless on this computer this is hardwired uh, it was cheaper to go not have the wireless included I'm hoping you can hear me I just realized my microphone is all the way down there hang on a sec okay so I've just realized how sensitive my microphone worked or works um, I have moved it closer to me but uh, the sound seems reasonably okay hmm <laughs> some noises obviously won't be getting hidden in this room anyway um, so yeah it, push came to shove we finally established because we had two D links one was in the lounge room one was in the garage and the garage one was our main one um, and so yeah we grabbed the new the newer one out of the lounge room and put it into the garage because the garage is one that feeds all of the house um, and that worked so Nathan took the older one and put it in the lounge room and there was nothing happening with it um, so he went he did oh well let's just try the power on it he said have you got a power cord that can plug into this so I looked at the power cord and went, that's exactly the same power source as um, my light pad, which I've got under here. Uh, and uh, I said, you're not having that if yours is broken, but we'll find out if that works. And yes, it worked. So we realised that I've got a few things that use that power source, that same type of cable adapter. So I actually gave him one that I had and uh, we're now internet up and running right throughout the house again which means he can watch netflix <laughs> at the front and i can watch netflix either in the living room or uh, in here um so yeah that was uh, that was a bit of fun and games tonight um gosh that does wobble doesn't it the what else did we do today i think that's about it I uh, oh when Nathan went out this morning to go and get um, all the stuff to uh, um, for this this wall that he did uh, I actually did a recording and I can almost hear Rachel Ray clapping her hands now I actually did do a craft room tour I will give you the heads up <laughs> big heads up the craft room is not organized so I've given you a tour before I've gotten it organized there is some and I will go some form of uh, organization but not much um, sorry my, my watch is about to go off so yeah uh, there it is coming I will just need to tell you to go off um i just need to basically upload it from my phone because i use the camera on my phone and it does show you three cameras that i have on this desk um, and that's not including my phone and i do have one more camera elsewhere but um, i've used that very rare very rare occasions but you'll see um yeah my setup quite interesting and as Nathan calls that side of my desk spaghetti junction because that's where all the cables are uh, yeah yep oh well it's the way it is at the moment when I get some more powerpoints in this room it won't be such a spaghetti junction <laughs> oh yeah so Hopefully you guys have had a, a great weekend. Um, yeah, mine is over. I shouldn't be sad. You know, it's five day. I get a five day weekend. This this time I got a five day weekend. So, um, oh, what else going on? Oh, I didn't do it. 
yet again. I did um, Hello Fresh as a meal plan thing that I ordered and I've been doing. And I keep meaning to take photos. So sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. And tonight's dinner was a, a tortilla stack and it was really nice. I forgot to take a picture of it. Like bugger. Hmm. But that's about it. Nothing else exciting. I suppose tomorrow will be very, very quiet because of work. Um, and see what else has happened and what's changed at work. At the moment, with everything being so fluid and things changing about um, about you know the COVID nineteen, it's a case that you know things change every time we go into work. There's new rules we have to follow, uh, and um, yeah, it's a it's a painful process at times. Uh, but yeah. Um, what else? Oh, just so long as they don't do to us what Dorio did to BHP. Not so long as BHP doesn't do to us what B what Rio did to their employees. Although in a way it's a good thing, <coughs> because um, with at Rio, the um, some of the guys they started doing blood tests. And actually, nine people, although it wasn't the full test, it was just an indicator. Nine people that were going up to site had an indication that there was they, they were fighting some sort something, uh, which is basically you know, when you get a virus or a cold or anything like that, your body starts, immune system starts fighting stuff. And this detects that. So there was nine people that were detected as having... An infection of some sorts and one of those guys actually tested positive to COVID now he was actually flying up to site so hopefully I mean you know it's a, in a way it's like you wish that you'd get that for yourself but in a way you don't um, as it, I mean, as in the testing, the testing really does give you a, a sense of peace of mind that you are working with people that are healthy and that you are also healthy uh, and you're not working with people that are passing things on. I can imagine if he'd actually, if this guy had actually gone up to site um, with, with be, being infected with COVID-19, that would have gone through the whole, highly likely would have gone through most of the camp. Um, even with social distancing, it's very hard on mine sites to um, to do that. You know, we've you know we've gotten to the point where up on site it's two people to a car, and I think if it's a bus, you know, it's one person per row, um, and that's also alternating rows. Um, you know, they put everything they can but in the end if somebody goes up with it with it everybody that that person has been in contact with has to be self-isolated and that can absolutely cripple a, a place where you do fly and fly out your FIFO you know even for us at work in the city with all the extra protection that we have in the city, we still have to do forms to say who we've spent 15 minutes with in the day, a cumulative time of 15 minutes with, um, in a space of like one and a half meters. So for me, that's anybody that I do hand over with. Uh, and generally that's either one or two different people and then my supervisor and uh, at least two other people. So if I came down with it, there would be, I think I'd affect six people. There'd be six, five, five to six of us that would um, be affected by it, by having to do self-isolation until testing. Now, five or six doesn't seem much, but we only have 
10 people on our crew which is really you know you take five or six out of that you need a lot more than that to run a team yeah six is the class as the minimum peop amount of people but our teams aren't that big um, but yeah to think that you would affect five to six people um, it does it, it's just yeah it's scary um, yeah and then you hear about you know dropping some of the stuff that's um, the so no not this is self isolation but the the stay at home and people want to drop that um, which I can understand but if somebody slips through the crack and they 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 actually do have it and it goes around how many people could it affect so yeah it's a slow process um, yeah still pretty scary stuff we are so lucky in this country that we are an island and people can't well in most cases people can't just cross a border to get in um, the only people that get in you know is by plane or by boat and the only people that you don't know about is the people that you know like the people smugglers but they're pretty well on top of all of that um, but yeah I mean Australia is very lucky where we can monitor who comes in and out of the country and and then that's where the tracing is done which is really good uh, this guy that was at Rio uh, he'd actually been to Bali he'd contract contact contracted it while he was in Bali so yeah he he was he didn't even know that he was so he was asymptomatic so he couldn't tell that he was sick um, and finds out that you know he was contagious you know, those people that could have been on that flight with him all would have been basically up on site and had to be self-isolated for two weeks yeah not good and here we go I've been distracted by all of that but yeah I, it plays on everybody's mind it does play on everybody's mind as an everyday person it it does affect me a little bit but it more affects me in the way that um, it, it, for me it's more about the what ifs you know if I do come in contact with somebody these are the people that I need to contact these are the steps I need to do um, you know yeah. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to be making the critical decisions to say who goes back, what starts, what is open for people to do first. Because that will get watched and watched and watched. And then if it goes wrong, they've all got someone to point the finger at, which is not good. But yeah. But on the lighter note, back to work tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, haven't organised anything for lunch I'm going to have to see if there's any takeaway shops or that that are in the city that are open Mondays I, I normally get the I, I normally have the same meal every every Monday day shift and I don't know if they're open at the moment or not so I'll soon find out tomorrow um, but yeah I think that's about it I've gotten worked my way around in circles here I will say guys I, ha I hope you I think I've already said it but I hope you've had a great weekend and um, that your week is uh, filled with some good stuff in there and that you are uh, keeping in contact with your loved one if you're in isolation keep in contact with your loved one and I will leave it there guys give me a thumbs up thumbs down leave me a comment and obviously, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> Why haven't you? And obviously, if you are not subscribed, you can't hit the bell. So subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I do uh, pop a little upload. I'm trying to keep them short so that they don't drag on, so that you can sit there and enjoy and then have time to go on to enjoy somebody else's live 
and I am rambling yet again. So guys, thank you for watching and bye for now.